I follow an account on TikTok called Dollar Tree Dinners. I love the concept and she comes up with some really creative ideas to make full meals out of ingredients only from Dollar Tree. Most of what she makes is very high carb though and I just can't really eat that way. My body doesn't respond well to high carb. But I love the idea and after watching her videos, I realized that there are some food ingredients at Dollar Tree that I didn't even realize they had. There are a few things I buy at the Dollar Tree from time to time. I really like their spice section. They have a lot of spices, individual spices and spice mixes uh, for a good price. They have things like olives, they have pork rinds, which if you buy just their plain unseasoned pork rinds, very simple ingredients, it's just pork skin and salt. Uh, they have things like jars of minced garlic. So I decided to head to the Dollar Tree and see if I could come up with enough ingredients that are not high carb that I could actually make a meal out of. And I settled on ingredients for a bacon-y chicken soup. I didn't even know that the Dollar Tree has bacon, <laughs> but they do have bacon in their freezer section. It's only four slices of bacon for $1.25. Um, so I picked up the bacon. I picked up a couple cans of chicken, pre-cooked chicken. Uh, a packet of Dano's seasoning, a jar of minced garlic, and then something else from the freezer section called seasoning blend, which is a mix of onions, peppers, uh, parsley, and celery. Plus, I also got a box of chicken broth. Here's everything I got. I started with the bacon. Here are the ingredients for the bacon. I diced up the bacon and put it in a pot and cooked until crisp. Once crisped, I removed from the pot and returned the oil. In the bacon grease, I cooked minced garlic. Here's the minced garlic, the ingredients for that. And one serving of the seasoning blend, which I like the ingredients for this, very simple. So I cooked all of that in a pot and then I added the box of chicken broth I bought. Here are the ingredients for that. I didn't love the ingredients here. I also added some Dano's seasoning and I really like the ingredients for that, very clean. I cooked all of that in a pot for about a half an hour. And finally, I added two cans of chicken, which I drained. Here are the ingredients for the chicken. And here's how it looked. I stuck to the same concept that she follows, which is to only use ingredients from the Dollar Tree. She points out in some of her videos that not everyone has access to a spice cabinet full of seasonings and oils that they can just throw into any dish to make it better. So I really wanted to just stick to the ingredients that I got from Dollar Tree and not add anything. And this soup came out really good. We both had it for dinner, my partner and I, and we both thought it tasted really good. It had a good amount of salt. It wasn't over salted. Sometimes uh, prepared foods can be overly salty. This was not over salted but it wasn't under seasoned either. It had a good amount of salt and other flavors from the seasoning packet that I bought, from the chicken stock and from the garlic that I added. All total, I walked out of the store with my ingredients and it cost me $8.75, but I didn't use all of the ingredients in my meals. So when I break down the actual cost of the ingredients that I used, it comes out to $5.56 and I got two servings, so per serving, it works out to 278. This meal was really easy to prepare. I did slice the bacon before I cooked it, although you don't have to, you could just cook the bacon and then crumble it. But everything else was already chopped or diced or pre-cooked. I didn't have to cut anything else. All I did was open things and put them in the pot. So it was a very simple meal to make. If I didn't have a lot of tools available to me, like if I was maybe staying in a hotel overnight and I didn't have access to a knife and cutting board, making this meal would be totally doable in a situation like that. And $2.78 per serving is a much better price than if the two of us had tried to go out and get fast food. So for a situation like staying in a hotel, uh, this is a really affordable meal. It's tasty and it's easy to make. The only downside is I didn't love all of the ingredients. It wasn't terrible. It depends on your frame of reference. This is cleaner than some other things that you could get for a similar price. We could have eaten a couple of tacos and burritos from Taco Bell and the ingredients would have been much worse. So really depending on your frame of reference, these ingredients aren't bad but they're not great. And so next I wanna try making a very similar comparable meal 
using ingredients that I can get at Walmart because I do have access to a few more things at Walmart than I can get at the Dollar Tree. I would like to make another chicken soup with ingredients from Walmart that is similar and compare the price and compare the nutrition.